this is Hillary Kramer. I am at the Philadelphia Money Show with Benjamin Franklin. Dr. Benjamin Franklin, as they ah, say. I insist. Okay. I earned it. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Franklin, uh, you're at the Money Show. Yes. What do you think of money? Well, let me first say, Shatin. Shatin. <laughs> It is indeed a pleasure to welcome you to Philadelphia, the city of love, and of course, where the Declaration of Independence, 55 members signed the Declaration of Independence, as well as 39 of us signed the Constitution of the United States. But yes, we are here to celebrate American capitalism and money, because nothing but money is sweeter than honey. <laughs> and since your group is here to learn, remember that an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. I'm quoting, of course, from my own works, <laughs> The Way to Wealth, 1757, Poor Richard's Almanac, a bestseller, I might add. Well, Dr. Franklin, let's drill down, though, on that a bit, which is then what is an investor in this day and age supposed to do to make sure that their money is safe but yet grows? So I encountered many times of both war and depression and I always made sure that I was secure in my investments and not go heavily into debt. And I had a diverse, what you would call a diversified portfolio in some stocks with the Bank of Philadelphia, as well as several bank accounts, so that when a major crisis hit, I was not hurt much. But remember, I was always and have been an optimist. I believe that America is a great and happy country. Uh, besides being an optimist, you are an entrepreneur. Indeed. In fact, I was a printer and proud of it. In fact, I considered myself as a printer more than any other occupation. Yes, I was a diplomat, ooh, that word, as well as a signer of the Constitution and also a rebel. And I never thought as a more conservative individual who loved England and loved France would ever consider myself anything but an Englishman, but an Englishman without his rights is not an Englishman. So we, we pledged our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor so that we would have an independent state and an individual, individual, independent people. Okay, and that leads me to a very important question. When you talk about France, England, what do you see as as the future for Europe versus the United States of America, that you are so much an important part, if not the key critical part, of creating? Well, I have said that free trade never hurt any nation. And the system of America is to have commerce with all and war with none. I also believed and wanted to live two and three centuries later, to live today and see what it was like. And I am simply amazed at the scientific advances and the prosperity that all Americans enjoy. However, I am disturbed a bit by the high level of taxation and debt that your country, at our country, has incurred because a virtuous and industrious people may be cheaply governed. <laughs> I have been speaking with Dr. Benjamin Franklin at the Philadelphia City of Brotherly Love Money Show. And thank you, Dr. Franklin, for joining us.